Hello guys, welcome back to C1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily C1 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this truss and to find out the support reaction for this truss. There is a horizontal load of 4 kN acting at the top of the truss and there is a vertical load also of 4 kN acting at the mid of the truss. The vertical height of the uh, truss is 3 meter and the dimension, the horizontal dimension of the truss is 2 and 2, and 2 meters. So the total length of the truss is 4 meter. So to find out the support reaction, we know that this is a hinge support A. So it can take the vertical load RAY and RAX. But hence this is only rural support, so it can only take the vertical load. It cannot take the any horizontal load. So that's why it has only one component which is RB, which is the vertical component. So to find out the support reactions, we know that the only horizontal load is acting on this truss, which is 4 kN, and there is only one horizontal support provided in this truss. So the whole load, the whole horizontal load will be taken by this support component, which is 4 kN. So Rx will be directly equal to the horizontal load acting on the truss because there is no other support that can take this load. So all support, so all load will be taken by this horizontal support. So Rx is equal to 4 kN. Now the other two vertical reaction are a Y and Rb are unknown to us. For this we can use the equilibrium equation. For this let's suppose summation of moment at point B equal to 0. This is my point B. I want to take the summation of moment at this point equal to 0. So we will do how starting from this 4 kN, this load is acting horizontally and create the moment about point B in the anti-clockwise direction. So the clockwise moment let's suppose is positive and the anti-clockwise is negative. This is just my sign assumption for the moment calculation. So this is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So it will be minus because anti-clockwise is taken as minus. So minus 4 multiplying it with the moment term. Because moment is always equal to the force into moment term. Where moment term is the perpendicular distance and force is the value of the force. So force is 4 kN here in this case. Moment term is the perpendicular distance which is from this point up to this point B point. So which is 3 meter here. So this is the one moment. The other force that creates the moment is this 4 kN. So this is acting in downward direction again. In the anti-clockwise, it will create the moment. So minus 4 again multiply with the moment arm, which is the perpendicular distance from this point up to B point, which is 2 meter here in this case. And the last one is this one, RAY. So it is acting here in upward direction and creating the moment in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive because clockwise is positive. RAY. Multiply it with the moment arm. The moment arm for RAY is the distance from here up to B point which is 2 meter plus 2 meter. So total is 4 meter. Equal to 0 summation of all the moment at point B equal to 0. So we got here if we shift this wheel into the right side. So we got RAY into 4 equal to the this will become plus 8 and this will become plus 12. So RAY comes out to be. 8 plus 12 is 20 divided by 4. So we got 5 kN. So it means that the, here the vertical reaction is 5 kN. Now to find out this Rb, how we can do? We can simply take the summation of vertical forces equal to 0. All the vertical forces equal to 0. And let's suppose upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative. Now the upward forces are Ra, if Y is upward force, we also assume that Rb is acting in upward direction and 4 kN is the only force that is acting in downward direction, minus 4. So all the vertical force is equal to 0. This is not a vertical force, this is horizontal force. So now Ray is known to us which is 5 kN, so 5 plus Rb minus 4 equal to 0. So we got Rb plus 1 equal to 0. If we shift this wheel into the right side, so we got Rb equal to 
minus 1 kilonewton. So minus 1 shows, this negative sign shows that our assumed force direction was wrong. So we have to change our assumed direction of the force. So now this force will acting in downward direction and the magnitude will be 1 kilonewton, which we found out here 1 kilonewton. But now the negative sign shows that our assumed direction was wrong. So that's why we change the direction. So now this force will be acting in the downward direction, but with the same magnitude of 1 kilonewton. So this is the basic principle how to find out the uh, support reactions for any kind of truss element. And uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.